Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, you will learn how to use Flourish, how to enter data in Flourish, how to edit the chord, which is a diagram you can see on the right hand side, how to make other graphs and how to use animations. So let's get started. Let's go to Google Chrome. So in Google Chrome, just type Flourish. Once you're done, the, the first result that will come is Flourish Data Visualization and Storytelling. Just click on this one. Once you open the Flourish Studio, it will look somehow like this. So you can just get started for free. For if you are new, if you haven't signed in before, you can just click on sign in over here, enter the details that they asked for, and then you can just go up, go, then you can just uh, start using it. For example, now, if you are a new user, you have to sign up. So let's see which information that you need. So currently I am already logged in. So that's why it doesn't show you anything. So I'm just going to proceed with this part. I'm going to show you something that we can do in Flourish Data Visualization. So without uh, any confusion, I'll just take you to the main uh, Flourish uh, portal, or just say Flourish dashboard, where it shows you what kind of uh, different uh, graphs that you can make. For example, starting from line, bar, and pie charts, you can see there are different options available over here. For example, you can also make area chart, stack chart, bar chart. The only difference between this one and Excel is that it provides you more vibrant colors and also looks more attractive. And the, another thing is that you can also make these graphs and you can also use them in your websites or you can also use them as a video or a storyboard or you can also use them in your PowerPoint, uh, PowerPoint slides or whatever you like. So the next category is the projection map. They have different options. I'm not going to go in the details for these ones. I will leave it to, on to you. You can try and visit the website and you can try how does it works. But the main thing which I'm going to show you is related with the uh, chord diagram. So I'm going to just uh, move toward that part soon. So as you can see, if you want to make a scatter graph, you can see different options, basic scatter plot, B swamp, but trust in 3D mapping, you can also have available option for 3D mapping. You can see if you want to make animated points, regions, or some specific region, or you want to show as a hex map, whatever you want, you can easily do that. Then comes different types, which is hierarchy, which includes the hierarchical bars, the pack circles, radial tree, and then comes the bar chart, which was really common in the uh, in the previous time or in uh, a few days back. I will show you this one bar chart one, and then we will quickly move towards the other part. And for today's video, we are going to focus on this part, which is chord diagram. So let me just quickly take you through this bar chart. I hope you guys might like this one because this is the video. This is the part where a lot of people are interested to know how to make a, a visualization in terms of bar chart. For example, if you have different data, now you can see that it's, it's moving from uh, time to time from 1970 up till now, I think 2016 over here, as you can see. Now the data is moving and you can see this is all animated. So this is being, this is working based on data, which you can see over here. So right now you're currently viewing the horizontal. If you want to change vertically, it will automatically uh, change dynamically, dynamically towards the other orientation. So as you can see over down over here, you can see there's a graph. You can also quickly move it towards anywhere that you like. So it all depends on you. So I will leave this part on to you. You can try and you can see how different things you can do in this one. Okay, so I'm just going to click here and go back to the home slide. And then I will go and take you back to the main thing or main topic of this presentation, which is the chord diagram. So let's see and try to learn how to use chord diagrams. So what are chord diagrams? Chord diagrams are used to help create a relationship between one thing to another. For example, I'll just quickly take you through the data first. For example, there, this is the data set which shows from, to, and count. Three categories. So for example, Chandler gave something to Monica and the amount is 380, so it will count as 380, but this time it is moving from Chandler to Monica, okay? Then if Monica gives something, some uh, some money to Ross, then it will be counted as 267, but this time from Monica to Ross, okay? So it derives a relationship from one point to another, and it is represented in form of a number, but instead of showing that in form of a rectangle, you can show that in a circle, which is called a chord diagram. And then we can see this thing over here also. Chandler gave to Monica 380, which shows a bigger circle and then goes back to Monica. So this is the one diagram, okay? So now if you want to change, you have different options over here, which shows colors, chords, arcs, 
pop-ups, animations, number format, scaling, sizing, layout, and whatsoever. Let's just start with color first. So here you can see the palette. So if you click over here, extended, it, it will show the color later on, but I will show you how does it looks like. So now if you click on the palette, you have different options, flourish one, flourish two, rainbow, pastel, antique, different options. You can choose any option that you like. Let's see, we are going to choose this one and you can easily see that the color variations are changed. Now, if you want to change another one, let's go with this one. You can see the color change changes and now I'm going to choose the one that we are going to use that we were using before. Now, card color mode. So if you want to show as a gradient, that means it will be stronger at the starting and then it will try, it will start mixing towards the end part over here. But if you want to say that larger end, that means the one which has a greater value will have more darker color than the one which has a smaller one. So let's see here. If you click over larger end, you can see that the larger end has a bigger, uh, larger end dominates because this is 403 and this is 374. That means Joey gave more amount to Chandler. Similarly, if you see Chandler gave uh, more, 380 and Monica gave 454, you can easily see Monica's color was dominating. So if you want to see the smaller end, that, that means the one which has a smaller end will dominate. Okay, so let's make it gradient so that's evenly distributed. Now let's go towards the chords. So now this is the chord opacity. Opacity means defines the color strength. So if you define as 0.65 or 0.55, that means you are reducing the color of the chord. You can choose whatsoever you like. If you want to have dark colors, you can choose like this. Let's go towards the arcs now. So arc, once you change the color, you can see what happens. So this part, which is the arc part, is increasing in width. So decreasing in circumference now if you do like this it will reduce furthermore so I think this much looks better so you can keep this one now if you want to have a gap below between the arcs you can see that there's the increasing gap between these two parts so if you reduce it it will reduce automatically now gap between that means the gap between these two parts is decreasing so if you can see if I reduce it like this you will see how dynamically it changes so if I change it more quickly you can see how beautiful it will look Okay, so now I'm just going to move it back towards the lower gap and it will somehow look like this. Okay, now let's say arc labels are aligned. Right now they are in, in the circular form, but if I say 90 degree rotated, it will somehow look like this, which is it doesn't look too good. I'm just going to go with the previous option, which is along arcs. Now, if you want to uh, auto size the label, if you want to fix it, you can fix it. But if you want to uh, make it, um, if you want to fix with your own uh, number, you can change it. But if you want to make it automatic, it will do automatically by itself. Now then comes the pop-up. So pop-up is right now when I go over here, you can see that the number pops up. But if I say disabled, when I go here, the, the white bar is not coming anymore. So let's see one more time. So if I pop up, the amount of words spoken, you can see the small white uh, box, it will appear. But if I click on disable, it will not come anymore. Then position is non-directional and directional no much information about this point so we are just going to leave it then comes the animation part there's nothing much to do animate in this part so there's no need for this part then comes the number format so in this point we have numbers like this so if you want them to be separated in a decimal or with a comma you can use it if you want to use some different time different format you can also use it so it all depends on you whatever you want and then comes the scaling and sizing. So chart scale something is right now is one. And if you decrease the size, it will become more smaller. Okay. And eventually it, it eventually it gets lost. So you can increase it like this and make sure. So, the, so one being the largest and zero being the smallest. So if you increase more than this, it will not because that's, a, uh, that's the highest number. And then comes the layout, which is the main font. If you want to change the font, uh, you want different font, something like this. I think it prefer to use a source uh, source sans pro that's looking much better and if you want to change the background color so color is on right now it's white now if you want to change this color and make it some other you can see how it looks like I prefer to keep a white color that's more professional if you want to change you can also change if you want to have an image in the behind you can add an image in the backside either you can add a URL copy a URL of the picture that you want and paste it over here and it will work automatically I think this is this is about about it I will leave the rest on to you guys and see and explore how do you want for example if you want title you can just type 
chord diagram just for this instance and you will automatically see it will come on the top if you want some other titles or text followed by a chord a diagram you can also type in whatsoever you like so it will come as a header if you want some information in the footer you can also type something and it will automatically come so for information and details and accessibility screen reader mode for main visualization so if you want to use these parts so it depends what kind of uh, what kind of function are you using in this particular diagram so it completely depends on that okay now it comes to the exporting part so once you click on exporting part you can click download as an image but in order to embed this in your website you need to purchase or you need to get premium services so for that if you want to download image you can just simply click here download image write the name let's say this one this one if you want to increase the size you can click over here and then click on download so once it's downloaded let's see how it looks hey here it is so there's no there's no watermark and the good thing is that looks really nice and uh, so once let's zoom in a little bit and we can see the strength of the colors it's not bad for a free diagram you can just make your diagram any any way you like and it's really easy and uh, convenient and another thing comes the data how you can edit that so you can easily remove the data that you want for example right now it has a lot of data i'm going to let's say i'm going, just going to keep 20 entries so if i delete these entries and i go into preview again it will automatically sort these out for me so that so that's pretty much good we don't have to work a lot we can just change simply one data and everything works fine for us okay so this is one part now let's just quickly see another simple example and just see how what we can do with uh, these kind of graphs in flourish okay so let's go with a pie chart let's see how does a pie chart works really easy and simple all the information is given you change something and you will easily see what is happening so that's the beauty of this flourish diagram you can easily see what is going on in your diagram right away and you don't have to worry much about it now let's just go to the bar chart first so this these are the years column one column two three and four these are different categories so here you can see in the data it shows labels or time okay so if you want to show which one are your labels you can just classify them with your with the name on the top that is a so you can see over here they have written a that means these are our labels so now come the values so so if i say b to c now let's see what happens okay so this is the preview section and you can see that now b to c is two columns are highlighted automatically now go to the preview section right now it's currently single chart now if i click on grid of charts you will easily see two charts coming in in the diagram okay so now heights mode is fill space you want to cover the whole space or you want to keep an aspect ratio not too big not too small that's why you want to keep it like this you can also decrease something size over here and it will automatically just for you okay so this is one thing now the sorting mode is data sheet or value so it will sort based on the data sheet or based on the value but now this is the pie chart so it doesn't matter whether you sort or not but if you have a bar chart or if you have a column chart then these values these categories do matter I'm going to leave that part to you and we'll let you explore more things in Flourish Diagram. If you have any confusions and if you still don't understand how to do anything, how to make graphs, you just have to use your own data. You can put your data over here. You can make graphs in a, in a moment, in a quick moment, and you can easily edit that. And the good thing is that whenever you are done with the graphs, this file is going to be stored in your projects and you can easily access them anytime. I hope you guys like this video. If you haven't watched my previous videos, do watch them. And if you have any comments, if you have any questions or queries, do leave your comments down below. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.